Hey guys, what's up? My name is Dan and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the second game of the season. A uh, huge test, a massive test. Um, I think the biggest test um, so far. Well, the first biggest test anyway, especially for Mikhail Arteta. And that is Aston Villa away. Um, always a big test, obviously. They beat us there last season. They beat us at home as well last season. So there was a massive point to prove. Obviously, you know Emery as well, the history of Arsenal. So there's a lot of riding on this game. Uh, there's a lot of BS stuff going on um, before the game as well, in my opinion. Online, you know, is Emery the best coach apart from Pep Guardiola? Uh, which is ridiculous. I mean, his CB is pretty decent. He's won trophies, but... To say he's better than Arteta and he's atrocious in my opinion and um, you know didn't warrant me talking about it until now because obviously I felt like we needed to set this mark up, we needed to prove that um, you know we're a better team than Aston Villa for one, uh, Arteta's better than Emery for another as well um, and yeah particularly for Arsenal I think you and Emery um, you know came in, tried to, you know, take away, take over from uh, Arsene Wenger, should I say, and it just didn't work. Obviously, there was a lot more deeper stuff going on. Um, Arteta came in, cleaned out the club. It wasn't just on the pitch. I mean, if anything, the the on, the on playing staff was probably the last thing that Arteta got around to doing. Uh, there's a lot of background stuff that had to be changed, and Emery just had no idea about any of that. And, um, yeah, so, anyway... Credit to Emery, but I think you know. I think the debate Arteta uh, over Emery has finally been finished now. Um, it was a pretty good game to be honest. I think it probably was a good game for the neutrals. Um, very tactical, very end to end, especially that first half. Um, no team kind of really wanted to overplay it too much um, and be too gung ho about it. Everyone, I think both teams felt a little bit reserved, a little bit um defensive in that first half and um which is fine with me obviously you know we lost the game last season um which is which is a bullshit result in my opinion i think you know we were a better team um against villa both games last season but we still managed to lose it so this time it was like don't lose um control we controlled the game a lot better uh, we had a lot of possession which is good um but it didn't really kick off until the second half, obviously. Uh, Martinelli on the left-hand side, I think, is having a bit of an off-season so far. Um, he's a quality player, and I don't want him gone. I don't want him sold. I think we should persist with him, because I think he's a top-quality player. It's just having a bit of a dip right now. I'm not quite sure what's going on with him, to be honest with you. His decision-making is a bit off. Um, but hopefully, you know, if he can get some first assist, gets his first goal, I think he'll really kick on. Um, but yeah, he, he went off, and obviously Trossard came on. And um, he scored pretty much his first touch, which is a really good goal. Um, kind of came out of nowhere. We were kind of attacking them for most of the second half, if we're being honest. Um, obviously, Oli Watkins had a couple of chances that he really should have scored. David by a, a world-class save. I'll talk about him in a minute. But um, the first goal was absolutely exquisite for me. Um, just, just, just a knockout blow for Villa. Once that goal went in, it kind of you couldn't really see anything else but a Arsenal win. Um, and then obviously Partey going and scoring the second goal to seeing it off, um, which was pretty awesome to be honest with you. Partey had a couple of shots. Um, you know, there's question marks about Partey, should, should he be sold? Uh, I think he should, to be honest with you. We should get someone a little bit younger, a little bit more, um, a little bit less injury prone, should I say. Um, but at the moment he's doing all right for us, so he's starting, uh, probably start against Brighton next game. So at the moment he's doing all right, so we'll have to wait and see, but I don't think he'll go this summer now. Um, and yeah, and so yeah, 2-0 up, I think it was a pretty comfortable win towards the end, but um, it, we had to work hard for it, the whole game was a bit of a struggle. Um, David Raya for me, I think he got back to the match, which was awesome, he well deserved, um, second clean sheet now for him in two games. World class goalkeeper. His save against particularly the early Watkins his header was absolutely outstanding. Um once he cannoned off that crossbar, you think that's a goal. We we're one nil down and he didn't he managed to save it. Um there's questions about Ollie well, Watkins being an Arsenal fan and it missed it on purpose. I think that's bullshit. I mean everyone knows a striker loves to score goals whoever no matter who they're playing against. Um Ollie Watkins would have absolutely killed anyone, I think, to get a goal in this game and uh, especially if it meant a Villa win. So saying that the misdelivery is just stupid in my opinion. Uh, just one of those other stupid takes on the internet. Um 
Yeah, so uh, and usually off for Ollie Watkins, and normally I think he buries both of those chances um, against anyone else. But it is what it is. Sometimes you just it just doesn't go your way. And Derby Ware, which is an outstanding goalkeeper, uh, all that talk about Martinez as well. Um, you know, there's so many comparisons people want to make between Arsenal and, and Villa right now. Um, I think we bury them all. Martinez had a decent game. Um, he had particularly a second shot that um, you know. Play right should have gone in. Um, it was a really good save for Martinez. Martinez, to be fair to him, uh, but yeah, David Rice just a step up in my opinion. Um, and yeah, it was a quality goal. That save kept us in the game. It kind of galvanised the whole team as well because it was only a few minutes. I think it was like ten minutes after that that we uh, Trossard went and scored. Um, absolutely amazing. To be honest, it was really good. We needed to make a marker in this game in particular. Too many comparisons. We know we're a clear reveal, and we need to make sure that everyone knew that. Um, and I think they all do now, which is good. Um, yeah, and it's the fact that you know once we got that two 0 we'll try to keep it cliche. This team is desperate to keep clean sheets. Um, every save, Saliba as well. He did a monumental save towards the end of the game. He had to chase back so far. He's so rapid as well. And managed to do a world class save um, or a tackle, should I say? And um, yeah, kept us in the game. They're celebrating. I like. I love that. You know, people you know made laugh at it. Like, why would you laugh? Like for a defender, you know, when you're two 0 up in a really tough game, you've earned the score line. But you know, obviously, they come close to scoring against you, and you save it, and you do a monumental tackle. Your goalkeeper makes a monumental save. Of course, you're gonna celebrate. It is like a scoring a goal almost. It's like yes, it's like. They're, they're showing themselves to be the best in the league now, in, in my opinion. So, um, really good game, to be honest with you. Obviously, we're up there now. We're not first yet, but obviously, it's the second game of the season. But, um, yeah, with, with City winning as well, um, you know, kind of, and Liverpool as well, they won as well. So, we want to keep going on the momentum. Sometimes we've had difficult games, but I think Villa is a really difficult game. I think Villa, at, at, I mean, Villa away, I get, probably is going to be a really tough game fixture I think for everyone this season so it'll be interesting to see what scalps they take um, at their place because I think they're going to be a really, def really difficult team to play against um, and Wolves again you know first game of the season you know, you know just coming back off pre-season that wasn't a given um, at all even though they did get smashed um, you know this weekend but still you don't you, there's no easy games in the Premier League now and any team can you know, can fluke and win against you. So, um, yeah, two new, two two nils, which is great so far. We've got a massive test against Bayern coming up though. Um, that's a huge test. I mean, I don't think it's as big as Villa, but Bayern are a decent team. Um, and they've got decent players. Joe Pedro seems to be a quality player for them. Um, in particular, um, so you can never rule them out. But you know, we have to you know keep this momentum going. Um, it's I think it's the international break after the Bayern game. So already you know it just seems like the Premier League's only just come back and suddenly we're on international break again. It sucks to be honest with you. I really don't like it. I really don't care for it. But it is what it is. But if we can get that win against Bayern, it sets us up for the rest of the you know rest of the. Uh, rest of the year to be honest with you um, and like I said we've apparently we've only conceded three away goals um, all 2024 so far it's absolutely phenomenal our defensive record's just disgustingly good now uh, which is great and um, you know I think Arteta has been vindicated bringing Raya in instead of uh, Ramsdale um, I think Ramsdale's a great goalkeeper and I think he's in the leave uh, but um, yeah, Ray is, Ray is just a step above. Um, I think when Ramsdale leaves and we get that Joe Garcia kid, um, I think he's 23, but when we get him in, I think that's a decent goalkeeper partnership for the season. Um, the Champions League fixtures are going to be announced soon as well. I'll probably do a video on that. Um, Mikel Marino, I mean, it's I mean, it's Tuesday as of recording. Uh, I thought they were going to announce his deal last night, but they didn't, so I'm assuming it's going to happen tonight. So, try to do a video for that as well. Um, but yeah, really in the run now so far, so good. Um, you know, the team's doing really well. I think Martinez is a bit of a weak spot at the moment. Uh, people say that, I think Trostad's earned the right to start against Bayern. I really hope he doesn't, to be honest with you. I think he's way more effective coming off the bench. Um, I think I, I, someone needs to look up the stats of how many goals he's scored coming off the bench because it must be a phenomenal record um, so yeah I think you know I think we keep the same lined up to be honest with you against, uh, as we did in the Villa game um, and then just bring or hopefully bring on Trossard and bring on Marino um, obviously Califiore coming on as well um, our defensive especially is looking solid now so our midfield once we get Marino in I think and we keep Partey I think our midfield is pretty decent as well um, 
There's massive talk about Vieira being on his way to Porto as we speak. So any transfers, any leavings, whatever like that. I'll probably wait until the transfer window is done, to be honest with you. Um, Friday or maybe early next week to do a video on that. I'm not quite sure. But um, yeah, at the moment, like I said, so far so good. Uh, let me know who you thought was a really good player in the Villa game that I haven't talked about. I think Odegaard's having a little bit of an off period right now. Um He's always, obviously, he's integral in the attacking play. Everything that we do attacking-wise goes through Erdogan. But he hasn't got, got an assist um, so far. I don't think he got an assist in the first game. Um, and he hasn't scored yet either, but I think, you know, it's only a matter of time before people start saying, well, he hasn't scored yet. But, um, yeah, I think he's had a little bit of a dip in terms of how quality he is. Um, hopefully he can step up. Saka's obviously flying off already, um, you know, couple of goals now for him which is absolutely epic or, or a goal and assist should I say um but Gabriel's a you know Jesus is a massive miss hopefully it's not too serious I don't think it is apparently he's not going to be out for too long which is good um we need him back we need him back healthy he helps our attack gives us something different um Kai Havertz as well doing brilliant he didn't really do too much in the video game but obviously I mean he did do defensively he made a world class tackle um, came right back into our half and made a really good tackle which is absolutely epic you look like, the whole team looks like they're fighting for each other which is great um, but yeah so far so good anyway um, you know, I can't complain to be honest with you uh, hopefully we can get a good result against Brighton keep ourselves in the mix and obviously set ourselves up for the international break but um, yeah let me know what you thought about the game let me know what you thought about the players um, what do you think about Emery and Arteta do you think that debate's dead now I think it is but people can disagree um, obviously you know the whole Raya and Martinez thing as well I think it's been put to bed as well I think Martinez is a great goalkeeper um, and you just got a World Cup you can't deny that but no, I think Raya's definitely Raya's got the Euros to his name now which is good so um, yeah anyway guys thanks for watching we do appreciate it I'm sorry this video is a couple of days late it's just I've got work at that moment so it's a little bit iffy in my schedule but um, I'll get these videos as soon as I can to you and um, yeah leave a comment leave, leave a like and yeah, subscribe as well if you have I think we're very 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 close to 500 subs which is absolutely mind blowing to me um i've never thought i'd get to 100 to be honest with you let alone 500 so pretty much appreciate it uh, leave a comment i always reply to my comments so yeah anyway guys have the really good rest of the week uh, and a really good weekend as well and i'll be back for the brighton game um probably early next week and, and i had like this week this video and um i'll try and do a video as well for the marino deal because I, I want to talk about him a little bit when we signed him and obviously any sales and stuff um i'll talk about it later on as well so lots of videos going to come along sooner so um yeah stay tuned for that and um yeah anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys very soon adios